Big Ed here again. Okay, so this is part of my series of 10 things to do during the lockdown to become a better musician, which is now 11 things, but this is one of those things and it's building something. Like if you've never built a pedal or a device that you can use musically, here's your chance. Because trust me, I am not mechanical. I, I, can, I, I don't even mow the lawn. You know, someone else does that, okay? So, my buddy Kent in Norway, Kent Sumner, you know him as Ugly Casanova, took a, an electric Electro Faustus Blackfly, which is like a contact mic box with springs. Anyway, he's like, no, I'm not having that. I can make something cooler. And he did, and I'll link to that below. It's really cool. So he told me I could do it. I told him he's nuts. But we're in a lockdown, so I'm gonna do it. So. Most of these things, like for instance, this box, I already had. Don't ask me why I had an old Radio Shack project box, but I did. And it was sitting in the closet, so I pulled it out for this. It's not ideal because the sides are a little wishy-washy. They're not as hard as the top part, but it'll work. Because the idea is also to try to do it as cheaply as possible, right? So, I already had the box. The next thing you need is a contact mic. Well, lo and behold, don't ask me why again, but I bought a contact mic some years ago. I think the idea was is I was gonna like mic up weird things like vacuum cleaners and ceiling, you know, or window fans or something, I don't know. But I have a contact mic and it's a pretty good one. So that's the real start to this. And this is gonna be part one of the video because you're gonna see in each video, each step as I go along. So. The first thing you need, obviously, is a box. Some sort of box. Um, you know, don't, the Electro Faustus thing is really cool, but it's like 110 bucks, I think. And you can get boxes. There's um, uh, 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 places online where you can get boxes, I don't know, for 10 bucks or something. Contact mic, you can get really cheap contact mics. I don't know what I paid for this, but according to Kent, they're not expensive. So those are the two main things. Now, Kent moved the springs from the top to the side, so I'm doing that as well. You can see I've already done that. I haven't um, screwed them in and tightened them up yet. So when they're tight and screwed in, they'll be straighter. I, the springs, I got the springs from Home Depot. A lot of this stuff I got from Home Depot, super cheap, before the lockdown. So I'm trying to use what I've got. A few things I ordered through Amazon when I got desperate, when I was like, Oh my God, I'm at this point and I need something else. So there are a couple things from Amazon. So quarter inch, these are quarter inch um, screws. So you wanna put a bolt and a screw on the inside, a bolt on the screw on the outside when you get the height. And then I've got a bolt, a, bolt, a, a nut and a screw. I'm sorry, I said a bolt, a nut and a screw to tighten on both sides. So when that's straight, They'll both look like that. I'll probably have them at different heights. And the idea is you can spring them, you can bow them, you can do all kinds of things because the contact mic, the output will be on this side. It goes on the top. So the contact mic goes on the top underneath here. So it'll pick up everything, okay? These are uh, two inch U-bolts uh, for pipes. They come with their own brace. This is uh, a smaller, this is a smaller U-bolt with a brace. What are those for? Well, the smaller U-bolt is going to hold a jaw harp or what some people call a juice harp, right? But what's gonna hold it in place? Well, I'll get there in a second. But what's going here? Well, what's going here you can get really cheap these um, little saw thingies. Again, I'm not mechanical. The people at the hardware store think I'm hilarious when I go in there asking for implements to play my lap steel guitar with. So these, I have three of these, and these will be held into place thusly so you can spring them. Now, what's gonna hold them in place? Ah. 
That's where Big Ed comes to the first issue. Because I got some, I guess what they called omit pipe. It's a plumbing pipe for, you know, toilets and stuff. Perfect size. So the omit pipe, I'm gonna drill some holes in and it's gonna come down on top of everything. And I've got a smaller piece of omit that I cut. Cut it with, you know, a, a hacksaw with a metal blade. And that's gonna hold these things in part. Ah, but what Big Ed didn't know is it's a pain in the ass to drill pipe. And there has to, be, it's uh, usually you need special things. So I actually, and this is the most expensive part of this, is I had to order this drill thing that holds things in place so that you can put your pipe underneath it solidly and it's got a hole that you can drill your holes. So that hasn't arrived yet. And that again has kind of busted my budget because it would have been like super cheap and you can do it cheap. My recommendation is if you can find pipe with holes already in it, which I think Kent did, then you can just put screws and not U-bar, U-bolts uh, in here and just put the screws and drill into the top where the holes are. But anyway, and I've even got, I've even got rubber tips to put on the ends of the pipe. So when the pipe is finally cut and down, just to make it look better, like, you know, this was like seven bucks for a whole assortment, but it had the right size. So again, Oh, and the other, just to sum this up, this episode up, if you have one of these, if you have a vice, it'll make your life much easier. But they're super cheap too. 20 bucks off of Amazon. And I only needed three different drill bits, two of which I used more, the, the third bit I used once, because there's another hole in, that, in the top, and what's gonna go in that? old used guitar strings are going to be down in here so that when you play with them, it's gonna resonate through the pickup. I'm gonna add more. These were just because I just changed strings. So I'm gonna take a couple, you know, four or five more. So it'll be a little cluster. And that's the third drill bit was only for that hole. So I don't know, that's a little summary. There's one more thing that Kent did that I thought was really cool. And he has like a curled piece of metal like this, like a coil that he put off to the side of this top. And when you flick it, it would resonate as well through the pickup. When, before the lockdown got serious, the guy at Home Depot recommended aluminum flashing. It doesn't work. Aluminum flashing is not gonna work. I'm waiting for a piece of copper that I ordered. Hopefully that will work. And if it doesn't, I can return it, thankfully. Because um, it's got to be a little bit heavier. It's got to be a little denser. So that's my little box. Again, the pickup will come out this way, the quarter inch pickup. Um, the springs, the, um, the saw blades will be on top and the Jews harp will be over here and the guitar strings. So it'll be a little like noisemaker box. He runs his through a delay. You can run it through delay and fuzz. Reverb will be really cool. And also you can tap the top. So what I might do is put, he did it, he, he put sandpaper on the side so you could scratch. And there are a few other people on the web that have tried similar projects. They're really cool. You should check some of those out too. Um, but he does it so he can tap on it and make percussive sounds. So it's just a little cheap project. Like, again, I already had the box. I had most of this stuff. So it was essentially going to cost me like maybe 20 bucks before I had to buy this drilling thing. But you could do it for 50 bucks, 60 bucks tops, and you'll have a fun little noise box that you made yourself. So it's something to do during the lockdown. Might be fun. So in my next video, I'm gonna talk about 10 more things that you can do during the lockdown. All right, thanks for watching.